Hey guys, it's me now, and welcome back to Strife. In the last part, we beat the game, and in this part, we're gonna be doing the demo. Uh, stop. So anyway, now the demo is a little bit different. Uh, by the way, if you're playing the Veterans Edition, the demo is on the game, which is nice. Ah, I am not One Punch Man anymore. The demo is a little different, uh, but it's mostly so that, you know, you buy the game, I guess. Um, this guy drops a pass card, I know, it's interesting. It's like, well, um, find help. Great, thanks. And before I die this time. So anyway, so this guy's all like, I want the shop for new toys when you broke. Run a little errand for me, and you'll get more than you can ever spend. I'll make you a rich man. Now here's the thing, by the way. So, so this isn't the dude, this is this dude. I forgot his name, I'm sorry. The shop for new well, if you say no, he just guns ya. He just guns ya. So if you say yeah. New good choice. The Order's sanctuary by the river is their unofficial torture chamber. Hidden inside, there's a golden chalice. You swipe it, you meet me at the tavern, and reap your reward. Here's a crossbow. Just aim straight and splat. Remember, grab the fancy cup and meet me at the tavern. So this kind of interesting one, because it's a different recorded line. Uh, the, the dude's not here, by the way. But this starting area is very, very similar to how it is in the actual game. Button there, I don't really know what it does. Just kind of stays lit, I guess. Um, yeah, but no, it, se it seems pretty dang close to what it is. In fact, it probably is exactly the same as how it is in the final game. But, uh, this guy's just kind of hanging about. So you may be wondering who is where he is, and he's like, You need the chalice. He's technically still there, I know, right? Because he said, uh, meet him there. So really, and by the way, the demo is not long at all. All it is, is a, uh, pretty much just the first part of the game, like the first little bit of the game. But you can ha you can go around, you can't really do anything else at the beginning of the game. You can't go in here because you don't have the key, you can't go into the base because you don't know the code. It also doesn't seem to work for some reason, and the other entrance isn't even there, so you can't really enter. There, there's a thing. <laughs> uh, so you can't really go to a lot of areas like right away. What's what's a bit interesting is the fact that you don't really have any money, but like you can kind of buy these. You probably get money when you uh, go to the place. Uh, when you go in here. So anyway, so we'll go in, I guess. Because, you know, I would do this before. Uh, Sanctuary, so yep. Yeah. Other than that, I think it's exactly the same as it is in the actual game. Alarm there, kind of annoying. I would I would say this would be one of the better places to show off the stealth gameplay that occasionally appears. It kind of exists. Instead, all it shows is that their crossbow sucks. Look at that, it's terrible. But... When when you play when you play this, it gives a bit of context. It's like holy, whoa! I I, I actually have to steal the chalice, and I like that. And I actually think like that's why the chalice exists in the in the uh, main game because in the demo that was the goal, not just I forgot to flick the switch. This is why I haven't played the game in such a long time. You know, I need a certain key for that. But where's the switch to... Oh my gosh, I can't believe I missed that. Look at that. Other than that, though, pretty much the levels themselves are the same. But it's interesting just to see, like, the different dialogue. They also need to kind of sell you on the game quickly. Without, like... Because in the main game, it takes a while before you get the rest of the weapons. They want you to experience these re the rest of these weapons a lot quicker. Um... Now it's not as it's not as like great a demo as like you know the shareware episode of Doom. You know it's not like you get to play like eight nine levels of you know a really good game just with like it doesn't have every single enemy in it. But other than that, like that's how they designed it. This guy drops a silver key. Oh, I'm getting the sniffles. Ugh. Uh, so this is the map. Now you may be wondering who's in here. 
Prisma. And what's weird is that he says Harris is pointing to the governor. And it half implies that Harris is a dude is a good dude who just so happens to summon guards on you very quickly. And you know this area seems a bit maybe better designed for taking the chalice. By the way, they give you a assault gun here. So you snag the chalice. No choice, by the way, you just you gotta do it. Uh we might as well go out this exit. Because we never showed this one off in the main game, but uh, yeah, you can, well maybe we did. But you can exit there, and then you kind of have to do like a double take around, but... There's also no one waiting outside here, which is a bit interesting. I feel like it works better when no one's siding outside there. Throws you off a little bit. So anyway, so we just like meet, meet him at the tavern. The big question is, does he still exist at the... Nah, 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 close it off. So yeah, you know, pretty simple stuff, and then that's happening, and then he's all like, Hey, I know what you're thinking. Kind of looks like a setup. I would never do that to such a hunking, great killing machine. I mean it. <laughs> all this fuss over a cup. Weird. Now get ready. Golden glory, like I promised. Take this key, and the governor himself will reward you. Anyway, there's no extra secret, uh, so I'm gonna kind of bail. Again, it does the weird thing where that happens, and I don't know why. Need an ID card, just casually. Yeah, half of this stuff seems like, you know, because I feel like they made the demo after the game, but it's interesting, like, why the dialogue's different. Sorry, the dialogue has different audio, but it's the same dialogue. This secret is still here. It doesn't really tell you, but it's still there. And this guy's all like, So, you're the fool who stole the chalice. I'm going to have you arrested as a rebel thief, thereby enhancing my position with the Order. How does it feel to be an unwitting pawn? Anyway, so that happens. Oh. So the big question is, have I screwed up? I don't think I have, but Hey, I know what you're thinking. I like that open. And when we head in here, that's what we want. The ID badge. Command, a con unit has just been activated and receiving visual and sound from somebody. Hey you, get out of there now, and drop the chalice. Listen, if this comm unit is working, that means you're still 100% human. And maybe we can trust each other. Consider this a test. There's a flamethrower hidden somewhere in the governor's mansion. We need it. Uh, these guys have gone back. This looks interesting. Check it out. Anyway, so so you're like flamethrower. Watch out for those crusaders. They're big, hunking robots and mean as hell. We don't know jack about their weapons, but odds are you're outmatched. Careful. Whoopsies. So it casually just sends like all these dudes after you. You're like, what? So I believe what you have to do is kill these three dudes with the flamethrower, except I gotta use this again because I ran out of ammo. Or more so, you just gotta make your way over here. And, uh, I mean, you can tell that there's the door there, but... Hmm. Why, why has she not said anything? You know what's weird? That one line that sounds really like crisp. I don't know why. Oop. I think there's a couple of dudes. A couple left. of guys. Turn left. Oh, upper left. A couple of dudes. 
Come on, what is she doing? Wing it! Set everybody on fire! I didn't, it didn't work. Do, 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 do. One thing I also like about the demo is that it gives you big, robot gives you uh, one of these shadow things, environmental suit. I think I just missed the targeting thing, but anyway, what we're supposed to do is actually go here. Into the secret. Left. Don't dawdle straight ahead. Come on. Why is it not? Why is it not going in? You gotta go in. Why is it not going in? That's supposed to be the pathway you go into. I feel like I gotta kill these guys, and then they'll let me in. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And now will it open? Hey, you get in and it's all like... I wish I was waiting for you behind that door, but I've got to stay underground. It's time for you to meet our leader, Mason. Welcome to the last flicker of hope. Only we have the free will to oppose the order. We have the sharpest scientific minds and many able bodies, but we lack that, that one real uh, problem solver who will give us the edge we need. Help us, help us steal their technology, free our comrades, fight these twisted psychopaths to the death. I'm asking you to risk your life for the truth. Good. Blackbird will continue to be your secret guide. She's taken quite a shine to you. Together, you've got to unlock the secrets of the Order and their inhuman servants. There's a presence that lurks just outside of our understanding which guides their terror. Get inside and take them down. And then there's a casual exit, and then that's it. That's just the demo. Uh, but it's kind of interesting just seeing, like, <laughs> the fact that you flamethrower a bunch of dudes in the starting area. I don't know. It's really interesting. Anyway, that is basically everything I have to show of Strife. Um, yeah. So it's been great doing the Let's Play, and I'll see you kids next time when I don't know what we'll be doing. So, yeah, see you kids then. Bye-bye! <laughs>